Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art, and let's draw another Sonic's character. This time it's gonna be Knuckles. And again, here is my full pencil sketch, and then from here, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw this line by line with a Sharpie. All right, so let's draw this, and here's my sketch underneath. So yeah, this one's very cool. I definitely like the muscular version a little bit more. So we're gonna start uh, right in between the eyes. 
we're just gonna draw in one little line first and then from there we're gonna draw in the shape of the eyes so on this side we'll flare out so this is gonna be the top eyelid so just flare it out and then come back down with a slight curve all right and then for the bottom here we'll just connect these just give it a slight curve okay and then from there we can draw in the eyeball so right inside here just a little egg shape okay and then I'll add in two circles inside so this is gonna be my highlight and then I'll shade around it okay so those are his eyes and I know the beginning is always the hardest uh, just trying to get these uh, curves correct so after this it's gonna be a little bit easier now that we have the eyes to go from so we're gonna start here right on the side it's a little cheek just add in a little bracket and then from the uh, bottom here we just curve all the way around and this is gonna give us the uh, the bottom of his face okay so nice and wide and then for his nose this one's easy we we'll just come in to the center I'm just gonna shade it all black okay and then for his mouth I'm gonna start right here right underneath the eye let's draw one little curve and then on the corner just add a little line there so we're giving him a little bit of expression okay and if you want to add in a, just a little bit more detail up here let's draw a little short little curve right over the eyes okay so now I can finish up the side of the head so just come out right on the side of the eye right here draw a curve going up so same thing on this side okay and then for the top we're gonna leave a little bit of space just go up and make a little point and then we're gonna draw one smooth curve all the way around but I'm gonna have the uh, the highest point right around here so it's gonna be a little bit lopsided okay so this side is gonna be a little bit flatter so we just go up And then curve it out, just round it out, and then just come back down. All right, so now uh, to finish up the head, we're gonna draw all those uh, little strands of, uh, I guess it would be his hair, I'm not really sure what it is. So we're gonna start out right here. Let's draw one curve going down. Same thing here. Let's curve it in first. And then I'm gonna come up here on this point, we're going to curve all the way around and go down. So just curve and it's going to be uh, nice and sharp on the ends. Okay, so this is going to continue down, just curve right around the face. Alright, and we're going to add in more strands, but first we have to uh, draw in part of body first. So his armpit is going to be right around here because it's very muscular. So I'm just going to draw, you can make two little dots right here. Now we just pinch it in. It's got a very small waist. Okay, so this is going to be his waist. And then now we can draw in his arms. So I'm going to start up here. Okay, so just come to the side here. Just curve all the way down right around to his waist. Okay, so one big curve coming down and then we'll go back to the armpit to finish up the arm we'll just curve down so we're stopping same thing right here and let's just add one little line there just to close it off okay so same thing here come across it's gonna start right there so one big curve coming down so stop right here and then same thing, go to the armpit area, curve down. 
close it off. Okay, so with that, and now we can uh, finish up the uh, rest of those strands here. So we're gonna start up here and just curve, just tuck it right behind the, uh, the shoulders right there, right behind the arm. So same thing here. Okay, so that's gonna be his head, and then let's just go ahead and finish this out. It's got a little detail right here, just one curve all the way around. So this one's easy, and then we're gonna start with this, just another curve right below it. Okay, so now let's finish up the uh, the hands. So for his fist, it's very simple. Right here, we're gonna start out just a little hook. This is gonna be his thumb. Come to this side, just kind of continue with this curve here. This is gonna be the back of the fist. And then we can come in here, right underneath the thumb, just draw a little curve like this. And then whatever space you have here, just come down and then just connect that. Okay, and then it's got a little spike right here, so this one's easy, start in the corner, just a little angle. Okay, so let's draw on the other side. Same thing here, just come in, little hook. Back of the fist. Just one little curve here. Come down and then just close that off. And we'll add in all those uh, little details on the wrapping later. Okay, so let's finish this up. Same thing here, one little spike. All right, so then for the wrappings up here, um, let's start right here. Two lines like this. And then we're just gonna draw in a couple more lines. So it doesn't have to be, so I'm just gonna draw one line like this and then you can start out another one in here so that looks like it's being tucked in. Okay, and then right here around his uh, lower arm so we can add in two lines like this first, and then again. Okay, same thing here. One, two, and then let's just add in another one in here. Okay, and then for his fist right here, right on the thumb, we can actually just extend those lines. Okay, so we're going out this side, and then on his thumb right here, we're just adding two lines like that. Okay, so from this hook area right here, just add two lines going out. And then for his thumb, just two lines going this way. Okay, so that's the upper body. So now for his lower body, he's got really skinny legs. Okay, so let's come down right here. Here's his waist, let's come down. Make a little curve and then we're just gonna curve this. Just go down. So just come down and just go out. On the inside here, just kinda go down and then close it off. So right here is gonna be the start of uh, his boot. Okay, so very skinny legs, and then for the boot itself, just extend it. Rectangle here first. So we'll extend the line. Okay, and then for the bottom of his shoes right here, his boot, we'll extend this line, go all the way straight, straight down. And then let's see, we'll just come across. So this is gonna be the bottom of the shoe. Okay, so just come across right around here. And then from here, just curve it and connect to this point. So we're gonna be seeing it at a slight perspective here. So we're adding the details later. Let's come in and draw in this side first. So just come down, go all the way across. Just curve out and connect that. Okay, and then for the details, just one line here for the bottom. 
start right around here. So on the side, just come in and then just draw one curve going out here. So it's a little bit tricky because we're seeing it at a perspective here. So same thing here, just come over, make a little point, just curve and then just go out. Okay, and then on this side right here, just draw a little curve. So that's gonna be the middle of the shoe. The very tip. Okay, and then up here, just one circle and then one circle right here. So one right here and then one very close to the edge. All right, and then lastly for the uh, wrappings on his legs, so this one's very easy. We just divide that up first. And then again, we're just gonna draw these lines. Just kind of give it a little bit of an angle here. All right, so that is it for this Knuckles. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.